So, let's start getting into this. Um, about two weeks ago, I played Banjo-Kazooie. And to continue on with more of the Banjo and Smash hype, we're going to be playing some Banjo-Tooie next. Now, this is not going to take me uh, one night. This will take probably a couple of nights. So, I'm not going to be doing the whole game in this one evening. There's no way. It's a lot longer. And I don't know this game as well as I know Banjo-Kazooie. So, that's not happening. Get that out of your mind now. <laughs> I am not finishing this game tonight. I could do it, but I would be putting myself uh, in a very bad position tomorrow. And I don't want to do that. Yes, because I, I need my sleep, damn it. I need my sleep. I didn't mean to put the heart next to cat. Oh. <laughs> Bears, birds, babes. <laughs> oh, ring run. Uh, let me grab my controller and get this started. Um, very quickly, um, I do have uh, two more Mario Maker stages. Uh, so if uh, you guys have been following the Mario Maker streams, uh, Go to my Twitch channel if you want to take a look at them. They should be uh, some of the more recent images I posted on my... Wait, did I say Twitch? I meant my Twitter. My Twitter account. <laughs> this is Twitch. This is Twitch. I think I said Twitch. I don't know. Basically, on Twitter, I posted my level codes. So if you want to see my two Mario Maker levels that I just made, then uh, go there because I think they're pretty good. One's kind of a joke stage, while the other one is kind of another recreation. I'm really proud of the recreation. I will say that now. So let's see, what's my best time in this game? See, like, my best time is... <laughs> 11 hours. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to beat this tonight. Um, I'm going to erase this one, so... Yes. Uh, yes, he said Twitch. I didn't realize you were streaming on Twitter. <laughs> yes, I, th welcome to the very first Twitter stream. <laughs> that would be a thing, though. What if you just sh What if you just streamed on Twitter? I mean, I guess there is technically like there's that like Periscope thing where you can like. It's more of, like, social media streaming, I guess. But, um... You know, that can, that is something you could feasibly do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. I think just like Banjo-Kazooie, I'll go ahead and play, like, all the cutscenes and stuff. But I'm not gonna read all the text like I would in a Let's Play format, so... We'll just, uh, watch and enjoy what's happening. Look at those cool N64 raining effects. And see, by this point... By this point, Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge has already happened, but we didn't know that <laughs> back when this game came out. <laughs> we didn't even know what Grunty's Revenge was. Uh, Banjo Pilot happened in an alternate universe where planes are everything. <laughs> uh, so from what you've heard, this is the Majora's Mask of Banjo Kazooie. I don't know if I'd say that. I wouldn't say that's a good comparison. <laughs> 
I know you said sort of, but like, aside from being like kind of a follow-up, and when I say follow-up, I mean like follow-up in like the biggest of quotation marks, it's really just a follow-up to Banjo-Kazooie. I'd say it's more of a sequel than what Majora's Mask is. I mean, that's... <laughs> I, I, I do agree Majora's Mask is better than Ocarina of Time, but <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd say this is better than Kazooie. Not sure I completely agree with that statement. In terms of the darker plot, I mean, I guess... It's definitely darker, but yeah, overall, I still, it's still, I still think it's pretty silly more than anything. I mean, a character definitely dies. <laughs> Actually, a couple of characters die. A husband and wife def definitely die, like much later on in the game. Yeah, but, like, one character, like, for sure has a tragic death. Okay, you never finished this game, you couldn't get into it like you could with Kazooie. I mean, I can kind of understand that. I, I do think this game is good still. But I think the one thing Kazooie kind of has over this game is just that it's a lot faster paced. Like, you get through all the worlds, like, a lot quicker. Like, for example, in Banjo-Kazooie, the first world only takes you, like, ten minutes. Well, I feel like the world, the first world in this game, takes you at least an hour. Like, the first time you play it. Maybe not exactly an hour, but closer to an hour than closer to ten minutes. Yeah, I can definitely see why people would like to eat better because of that. Because there's more to do, and like there's more you have to kind of open up, I guess. I just kind of feel like it's a bit too much in some cases. But I don't know, I, like I said, I still think it's a good game. You're coming to the conclusion that the people most vocal against Yuka only like Kazooie and not Tui, because they always complain about the big worlds. Eh. Maybe. I, I, I don't like generalizing it to that degree, but... I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like... I mean, there are definitely first-person shooter sections, but... Aside from, like, the final boss and, like, a few minigames, there's really only, like, three small minigames with, like, the first-person shooting stuff. And see, the thing is, like... If anything, I kind of like Tui more than Ukulele. And again, I still like Ukulele, too. It's just... I, I have different problems with each of the games, pretty much. Obviously, Kazooie's main problem was, like, the notes thing. Like, that was obviously kind of uh, not thought of well. Um, Tui's thing. I just wasn't really a fan of, like, all the backtracking in Tui. And, like, I feel like... Like, I do like how all the worlds are, like, connected and everything. And, like, that was, like, a lot of people's reasoning for, like, 
Well, that's why you have to do so much backtracking, because all the worlds are connected. I just think they could have been connected in more meaningful ways to maybe make the backtracking a little less annoying, I guess. And Yuka... I... I don't really know what my problem with ukulele was. Like, there were some, like, challenging things in ukulele that I just did not enjoy. Like, some of the later arcade games were, like, really obnoxious. The Kartos minigames were obnoxious. The final boss was obnoxious. <laughs> Yeah, Yuka definitely needed a better first world, I think. <laughs> the first boss of Ukulele is a ramp. <laughs> it's a frickin' ramp. <laughs> yeah, I'd... I think that's my kind of thing with Ukulele, too. I feel like it could have been a bit more polished. But I also feel like Ukulele didn't have the same type of people on board as, like, these games did back in the day. Even though, again, a lot of the Yuka team is the Rareware team. That is a funny thing, though. It seems like mini games always seem to be the the obnoxious challenges in a lot of these 3D platformer games. Yeah, I still need to play Hat in Time. I'm really curious to see how that playthrough will go whenever that happens. Now, I think we can all agree that Glover is the best 3D platformer of all time. <laughs> oh no, poor house. <laughs> At least everyone got out safely. Where's Goggle Boy? Kentucky Fried Mole. Grunty's killed bottles. You know what? I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Snack. I honestly was not a big fan of the level expansion thing of ukulele. I, I just kind of feel like they should have been expanded from the get-go. Just because I'm kind of one of those... When it comes to, like, 3D platformers, I kind of like getting things done as soon as I enter a level. As opposed to, like, having to leave and come back and explore it all again. I did I did not like that system that much. Yeah, the ideas were interesting. It's just, I don't know. I didn't like the way some of the levels actually utilize that. Like, I remember the, uh... I think it was the Snow World, where literally expanding the level just, like, opened a door. And it's like, oh, here are all these, like, very quick room puzzles. And 
It's like, well, that could have just been already open from the get-go. <laughs> I don't think I can get anything right now, like in the overworld, so... I think I'll go straight for, uh... Straight for the boss fight here. Whee! <laughs> Inside the digger tunnel. Okay, what, what color potion are we going to get, guys? If you don't know the colors, then what potion are we going to get? Like, invisible, growth, or multiple? I actually do not remember what all the colors are and what they do. It's blue! And blue is multiples, okay. I better not die to Klungo. Oh, I was wrong. Whoops. Okay, it's the one that's like lighter than all the other ones, I think. I think that's the indication anyway. I, I do kind of like that touch, though. I like how, like, the Spiral Mountain music is all, like, depressing and, like, it's, everything's destroyed. Because it is, like... There's just a giant hole in the mountain, Banjo's house is dead, Bottle's corpse is just laying in the middle of Spiral Mountain somewhere. You go to Grunty's castle and then Cheeto's all ripped out. It's a perfect way to start. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who the hell are you and why are you talking to me? That's not the way that works. Also, what if I'm just going the wrong way? I don't think I am. Because I remember going downhill. There we go. Hey, we're in Jonjo Village. You'll love a good Jonjo. Oh yeah, I can't get that yet. Well, we're gonna go in the, uh... The only house that looks like it has something to offer. <laughs> Blue Klingon. <laughs> is this Banjo or is this Star Trek? <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> You can tell this was a um, early 2000s game when a character says, Yo, what's up? <laughs> this is true. The Grey Jinjos, they died as well. There's a lot of death in Banjo Tooie. Uh, will I do 100%? Yes. I will be playing through the whole game. As I said at the start of the stream, I'll probably not be doing it all in one night because... No. I'm not going to be spending 10 hours on this. I have stuff to do tomorrow, but I'll play through a good, decent chunk of the game. Uh, Mega, not even Rareware did stop and swap, so I don't see why I should do it. <laughs> Uh, 
Here, let me open a, a door inside someone else's home. <laughs> Just sounds like a Puddles character. Alright, you didn't finish this game because you thought it was getting boring because of its length. Eh. I can understand it. You saw my entire Let's Play. That was... 2014, I think? Either 2013, 2014, one of those years. What is the plan to get your body back? Also, that's why she doesn't rhyme anymore. Her sisters told her to not do that. <laughs> Also, there's Dingpot in the background. Like, I knew, I know he's there from, like, the game, but, like... I didn't realize he actually appeared in this cutscene. <laughs> uh... I have definitely played Mole Mania, actually. I actually streamed Mole Mania. A long time ago, um, back when uh, it first got added to Retro Achievements. No, it wasn't a Ustream, it was still Twitch. <laughs> it wasn't that far back. <laughs> yeah, I played Mole Mania. Pretty good game. Pretty nice puzzle game. It sucks when they decide to add uh, no damage Retro Achievements to it, but... I feel like that's a different problem altogether. Yeah, uh, Mole Mania had the stupid snack song. The stupid, stupid snack, the stupid, stupid snack. Wait, you had the 400 point cap removed, but we're now required to use specific point values. So after rescoring all 35 of your sets, I press recalculate my score and got 5,000 points and claimed 20 ranks. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what's the 100% reward for this game? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like the only, like, actual, like, I guess rewards, if you could even call them that, is the cheats you get from the Cheeto pages, but I probably won't even, like, use those, because I never had to, really. So I wonder what my score would be now if they did uh, change, like, the point caps and stuff. I wonder if I'm actually over, like, uh, 100,000 or... Wherever it is I stopped. I was close to a milestone, but never ended up actually getting it. They, of course, also just kept, like, removing achievements when I was trying to get over 100,000, and I kept going down, like, a thousand points every week. Oh, okay, well, whatever. It's Retro Achievements, I... <laughs> I've cared more about other things. <laughs> hey, it's Bottle's wife. And we never even tell her what happened. It's probably for the best, really. 
He has a Donkey Kong doll. <laughs> I always love that he has the Donkey Kong doll. <laughs> Okay. And we're just gonna ignore all the children. We don't need to tell them about this hurt their father. We don't need to tell them. I just wanted the goggles, that's really about it. You'll need to get past my doorman first. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Jiggy Wiggy hears a gunshot. No! Just talk to him! Don't, and don't shoot him! <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bottles was really just a victim. What was your PB in this game? Uh, the game time was like 11 hours. I don't know how much time it actually is when you like minimize cutscenes and you know pause menu time and all of that stuff. But the file said 11 hours. Yeah, they, they definitely do just kind of, like, walk around the death thing. I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> It sounds like fun. <laughs> this is the mystical society of no homers. <laughs> you know, they talk about Mick Jiggies like a couple of times in this game. But you never actually go to McJiggies. Why so much lag? I don't think there's lag. It's also just an N64 game. Like, <laughs> It may lag just because of the nature of the game and how old it is now. <laughs> So we found the first member of the Black Jinjo family. What do you guys think will be the last Jinjo family we complete in this game? If anyone says white, you're just trolling because there's only one. <laughs> Not gray. <laughs> really. Yeah, I don't think gray will be the last one we find. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does try to push the boundary of what the N64 can handle. You know, honestly, like, black is not a bad answer because, I mean, it does have the most members of the Jinjo family to save. But it seems like whenever I play this, like, you just I just get a bunch of them, like, immediately in, like, the middle of the game. I ended up completing that family first most of the time. <laughs> One time I got the, uh... 
I got the white Jinjo once, like, outside of Mayhem Temple, like, out here in this first area. The one I picked up already, and I'm like, oh, well, okay, I guess that's never going to be a question of when I'm going to get that one. <laughs> I'm gonna say red, actually. I'm gonna go for red being the last family I complete. Okay, isn't there... I think I can smash this? Oh no, do I actually need the build room for this? Oh no, you can also use... That's right, you can use the... The guy, the, the gold statue guy to get that, that's right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> this is a sign, you can read it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> hey, it's jam jars. <laughs> okay, so they tell his brother that he did that he died. <laughs> Literally, they don't hold back at all <laughs> in telling him that he died. But his actual family, no, they couldn't tell him tell them at all. Uh, I think it's been like two years. I think the I think the gap between the two games is like two years or something. Okay, hit your head. Ah. <laughs> I wanted him to hit his head so he fell back down and got hurt. <laughs> it's a very mean way to say it, but I think you guys know what I mean. Jiggy Jones! We got our first Jiggy Jones, guys. I know there's like a... Yeah. Trouble club here. So we have all the notes in the first world already. <laughs> that was fast. Um... Okay, it's over here. I'm almost thinking about doing the, uh temple stuff first. I don't think I need anything aside from uh, Briegel Blaster and the egg aim. Oh, he didn't hit his head again. <laughs> Sad. Let's go ahead and get first person mode out of the way. Good, I see you have mastered the art of bird handling. <laughs> Oh, truly the most sacred art. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I gotta find like all those relics, I think. Hey, at least you don't have a frickin' time limit like you do in some of the other ones of these. <laughs> Man, I remember, like, when I first played this game, and we'll probably do the other one, the one I'm talking about, in this stream, but... My god, I hated the Ordnance Storage one when I was younger. I just never could memorize, like, the, like, entire layout of that place, so I, I always failed it. And then when I was living at my uh, aunt's house for a while because of uh, we were getting our house torn down to put another one up, like my cousin played this game and he also got like really frustrated at the ordnance storage. It's just a really really hard uh, um, challenge, honestly. I came from there. I did want to grab the... Oh, right, this. Okay, these skill stop honeycombs, they're pretty extra. <laughs> I was never really fond of those. They just kind of break the pace of gameplay. <laughs> Wait, didn't I just... Yeah, I, just, I was just in here, I think. Wait, doesn't this also go in here? Okay, this is just the same room. Never mind. We'll look somewhere else then. Hey, you're back. Ouch! He just clubbed me in the face. <laughs> That's mean. Okay, well I think we're done with this section then. Okay, not bad, mortal. Ten statues gains you entry to my slightly sacred chamber. I hear Jinjo. I hear Jinjo Jones. Okay, not everyone's name can be that. Whoops, I missed it. Swarmed by these guys. I want to say this goes to where the. I think this where goes where the Jinjo is. Well, while I have the uh, rapid fire eggs, let's do the boss fight since we're right here. Oh wait, this is the slightly sacred chamber. But wait, I thought this was the door that just opened though. Okay, pink Jinjo is somewhere in here. Also, uh, hmm. Very colorful way to put that snack. <laughs> yeah, that, that one does suck, though. I mean, honestly, I don't like the Ordnance Storage or that one.
I'm Target Zan. You're literally just a totem pole, dude. I do like the bit at the end where he says, like, my sacred self-destruct. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good bit. No! <laughs> Sacred self-destruct. And he's dead. Ah, uh, yeah, I hate Lord Wu Fok Fok. That fight's annoying. I always use the submarine for that fight because I just don't want to mess with it, like, in sub-aqua aiming mode. That's just... it's always a chore. Like, I think Jinjo is in here. And... hello! Okay, got a purple one, or pink one, or... I don't know. I don't really know what color they identify as in this game. Now can we find our way out of here? That's the big question. Oh, yeah we can. That's right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the strat, just to use the submarine. <laughs> it's a good it's a very good strat. It's the strat you should use. Cause like why would you do it any other way, honestly? Okay, so I think I forget, do we need to be I think we need to be Golden Goliath first. Before we like do anything. Oh, there's also a Jinjo in here, isn't there? Brown Jinjo! Only four of those guys. What's up here again? Nothing I can interact with anyway. Okay, is the Globo just behind? No? Or is it one of the ones where it's like inside? Actually, yeah, it might be inside the hut, actually. Or I guess it could be over there. Dude, that guy almost shot me. Okay, it is in his hut. Okay. Okay, let's control Mumbo, everybody. 
Uh, yeah, the color of the Jinjos are randomized. In every playthrough, they're randomized to a certain location. Which I always thought was a cool thing to do. It really capitalized on the randomizer craze back in 2000. <laughs> you know, years and years before randomizer even became a thing. <laughs> also, yeah, I guess I guess I should uh, clarify when I said randomized like the colors are always the same, but the colors will be in different locations. What Jinjo is up there? Green? I also like the first time you do, like, a mumbo thing. Like, it actually shows, like, the globo kind of popping out of the bag. Which shows that, oh, hey, yeah, you actually, like, used the magic that you found. Like, I always thought that was cool. A neat little effect. Okay, so I'm trying to remember if all the way you need to smash. I think we need to kick this door open. Kick. I think that's all everything. No! Oh, there's the white Jinjo. <laughs> it's here. I guess it's not a big deal. I guess one other thing you technically, like, need to smash, although I'm not going to utilize it at all, is you can also kick open the, uh, chi chamber, I guess. the mumbo um, cutscenes are that bad. Gives you a gives you like about a minute to put the controller down and like relax or something. Oh. Yeah, Mumbo can't fly. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Maybe someday he can fly. Uh, sorry if I scared you right there. I was just really annoyed that the, uh, <laughs> that I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, this game came out at the very end of 2000. Which means it's almost a 20-year-old game. Uh, I don't think it was 2001, because GameCube was already out in 2001. And, like, I remember getting this game for Christmas the year before I got my GameCube, so... Also, the most important 
thing that every 3D platformer hero should be able to do. Grab onto ledges, and also there is the only white Jinjo. Oh yeah, there were still games that came out in 2001, but this was definitely a 2000 game. Do you think some other critters came out to the skull for some shammer shamanry while Mumbo was out? Yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Snack, I think that every day of my life. Okay. Come and have a go. If you think you're tough enough. Hey, it's that one part of the Smash trailer where Banjo grabs something while the creature is sleeping. And I can get something over here. Peck, peck. I remember in one of the stream playthroughs I had of this game, like, a long time ago, I remember that I forgot about this Cheeto page, and, like, I was at the end of the game, I'm like, wait, I'm missing a Cheeto page. And I actually had to go through every world and, f like, try to figure out which one I missed, and that was the one I missed. <laughs> I, I don't know if, like, Ivysaur was necessarily the snake. Because keep in mind, you kind of had to do something similar in Banjo-Kazooie as well with Napper, the green ghost, in Bad Monster Mansion. I mean, it's not like 100% by any means, but... Kinda similar, I guess. Uh, should I go ahead? I'll go ahead and do the stony stuff, I guess. Ivysaur was the concept of sneaking up on a sleepy boy. Yeah, that's fair. We'll go with that. Pretty high concept. Um, actually, Mario Golf was, uh, not 2001. I, I definitely had that game a year before that. But yeah, Mario Party 3, Paper Mario, um, Dr. Mario 64, Conkers, Bad Fur Day. The Mario Golf, I, I think, was 2000. Either 2000 or 1999. Oh yeah, Powerpuff Girls? Yeah, definitely. Big hell yeah. <laughs> also giving a big hell yeah to that, by the way. Yeah, Stadium 2, that was definitely 2001. Since, uh, Gold Silver came out end of 2000.
Because I need to uh, look at the. Uh, the text for the. Uh, the. the prison solving. <laughs> That's the word I'm trying to say. <laughs> the trap one sun moon star sun moon star moon sun hey yeah, that's just like a palindrome Sounds more like he's saying tough, not hard, so. I know you want it to be hard, but like. It doesn't sound like he says hard. Sorry. I mean, Dr. Mario was fun, but it's also just Dr. Mario. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious, actually. <laughs> I mean, I, I've, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have done that before. I think it's technically faster since you don't have to, like, sit through all of that text and whatnot. <laughs> You're Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario 64 made Rudy the Clown canon. That's definitely a thing it did. Okay, that's the Mario where you need him in your own goal, right? Yeah. Okay, Z is the shoot button. Beep. Hell yeah. Honestly, I kind of like the uh, How Far It Peaks version where you have to like score on everybody else. <laughs> oh my god, they want to take Banjo's shorts off. That's not cool. <laughs> My oh, well, oh, never mind. You know, I'm gonna win! <laughs> you can ignore me as much as you want.
Yeah, I love the HP one. That one's fun. Again, just all the Halfire Peaks ones are more interesting than this one. Although I do have, like... I do like how they treat, like, the... Hellfire Peaks one, like it's like a championship or something. Ooh, shoot. <laughs> okay, no. Oh, I have to come in for- ah, uh, damn it. I mean, at least I tied, I didn't lose. <laughs> if I would have gone for a red one and purple's goal, I probably would have won. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I did want a goal, actually. Yay! I'm too choked up for words. Kazooie, you're funny. Okay, I think that's everything I can do with the Stony for right now. So I still have to do like all the caveman stuff, I have uh, a few Jinjos I can collect. I still have stuff to do. Big stuff. Wait, I don't need to talk to you. Actually, do I, have any, do I have any red feathers to even do this? I do not. <laughs> As a matter of fact, red feathers are something I do not have right now. Which is a shame. Although I think I can get some red feathers if I go up here. Looks like we got a... Uh, is that orange or yellow? Or brown? Oh, orange. Yeah, that's right. There's only two orange ones. There we go. I corn hardly believe it. Yeah. 
Um, as I talked about earlier, I think ukulele was fine. Like, I enjoyed it. I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I enjoy, like, these two games, but... Or DK64, but I, I had fun with it. Oh. Right, you have to press the Z button. The big Z button. <laughs> yeah, snack, very mean. What did Bovina ever do to you? <laughs> what if Snack was a fly? come in here for that at the very least. So I think the other, like there's one Cheeto page on top of here, and I think the other one's in the uh, prison compound, so I think we're pretty good to go on all of those. I still don't have any feathers, which <laughs> does bug me to an extent. You know what? Snack, I'm not going to disagree with that. The perfect annoying life form. <laughs> I think that suits you very well. Also, shoutouts to this being, like, way more precise than even the snake thing we did earlier. Because, like, yeah, I was definitely tiptoeing there. I got a priceless relic. I got a priceless relic in my hands. Where's the exits?
Okay. I love how he's just not carrying it anymore. It's like, oh, okay, I'll just put it in my pocket now. <laughs> okay, isn't there... Maybe it's not. This is a family game. <laughs> Let's not say something we don't mean in this family game. we don't have yet. I'm trying to think of what they are. Right, there's one in the... Okay, never mind. I know what Shiggy I'm missing. It's in here. And there's another one in here that I can't get now until I get the build drill. And I can't get the uh, Jinjo or the other Cheeto page because I don't have feathers, so I'll have to find some feathers and wait on that. Oh, here we go. And that should, like, be enough to get the two things I need, too, so... I already did the Target Zans one, yeah. That was like the first thing I did, because I was like, oh, I'm here, I have all the moves I need, I might as well. Actually, I should have got the Jinjo first. Cause I think there's actually like a flight pad. Actually, what's in here? Is it just a shortcut to the top area? 
Yeah, it is. Wait, how did I not see that before? <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, I get that that's how you're supposed to get the Cheeto page, but I just did not see that when I was climbing up. Makes more sense just to fly to it, honestly. So you heard it, I was in the right. <laughs> Everyone else was wrong, except me. Grab the Jinjo. Thank you. Ooh, mashed potatoes. A classic meal. Frame rate chugging. Oh! I am actually dropping frames, believe it or not, so I think that's a bit on me as well as the game. <laughs> Seems like it's fine now though, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it though just in case. Shoutouts to Pterodactyl Land. <laughs> God, I'm so annoyed and lost right now. Shoutouts to Pterodactyl Land. <laughs> you know, I'm getting bored with life. Shoutouts to Pterodactyl Land. <laughs> pieces. I know you can. You don't like Grunty Industries? Well, I don't like you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's mean. like I like Witchy World and Grunty Industries actually. I don't know why. I, I kind of like them because it seems like you're in like not really like home bases of the enemy but like major corporations of the enemy I guess. Also I love this. 
I love how just a giant laser blast just pushes the gate open. <laughs> Snack realized during my playthrough of this game, which has only been going on for about an hour, that he hates Terry Dactyland most of all. But no, seriously, he actually played this game recently, so <laughs> that's what he's referring to. And this is when I realized in my first playthrough. Oh my god, they have notes in the overworld. What will they think of next? Blueberry on pancakes? Oh, that's a warp. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Now's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of Glitter Gulch Mine either, honestly. I remember to my first playthrough, I was just lost beyond belief. I actually used like my player's guide through a large part of that, just because I did not know where to go. <laughs> Wait, isn't there like a honeycomb? Yeah, here. I'm not gonna get any life extensions yet. We really don't need to see Banjo try to flirt with a giant honeybee yet. Not yet, anyway. Maybe later. I'm gonna go ahead and get grenade eggs before I... Because grenade eggs are broken. I never actually do this though, believe it or not, although it's definitely something you want to do because grenade eggs are so broken in this game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I love the music for Glitter Gulchmon. If, if only the if only the level was as good as the music. Now we gonna jump into the hole. like they didn't even try with that Cheeto pitch. <laughs> it's like, you know what, that place is good enough, I guess. Oh, can't do that yet. I need to get the one move in this level that's like vital for not just this level, but pretty much the entire game.
Okay, that's the prospector's house, so we don't need to be there yet. I'm trying to feel out and see what exactly I got going on here. Um. in there. Did I miss the... I guess I missed where the build drill was. Not where Mumbo's is, so we're... Oh, it's over there. Right, it's opposite the Prospector. Also, hey, Grand Fubar. This makes breaking so much fun. <laughs> you guys want to get together and just break something? <laughs> hit your head. No. Oh, he's never going to hit his head. That he'll do it at like the very last opportunity he has to do it. I gotta go back here because there was a Genjo that was trapped and dying over here. Okay, got our second brown Genjo. Should we go ahead and get Orden storage out of the way? I'm thinking, yeah. I don't like it, but like, who does? <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. Ah, they're here. Whoa, Madame Moria with the raid. Threat protection. I see. What? <laughs> Big ba. Another use for the feathered freak makes good use of her pointy beak. Wow, so jam jars can rhyme, but grunty can't. Oh, thank you, J Palm, for. There he is! He hit his head! <laughs> All it took was a Madame Wario raid for it to happen. Ain't that cute. To be honest, we're actually we're kind of dealing with our own threat protection right now, too. Because we're kind of disarming bombs. So... <laughs> I guess we're both, uh... 
dealing with the same type of thing. I remember when I, when I was talking earlier about my cousin when he would try to do this. He tried to actually like go through the mine first and like see where they all were, but he, like it wasn't working because he just kept missing like one of the rooms. <laughs> and like I tried to tell him that's like you know you you could just be missing one of the rooms you know. <laughs> he goes no I'll get this. He never did. Well he did it once but. He was, like, done with the game after that point. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I feel like there's rooms on top of here that I haven't gotten. Okay, so there's one down here. Don't think I've been over here yet. Maybe I have. Yeah, I have done this already. I know exactly where I am, though, so it's cool. I think I got that one. I think we want to be up in this direction. Yeah, that was the long hallway, so we're good. Oh my god. like over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Um, maybe we haven't gone over here yet? Oh, were there audio cues? I didn't hear- Oh, I didn't hear that. Shoot. Oh, GoldenEye 007 was out way before Banjo-Tooie. GoldenEye was like... 1997. I think it came like easily three years before this. That's where I came from. Okay, there's that. Yeah, boom goes the dynamite indeed. It happens, though. Sometimes, guys, sometimes things just explode. The sooner you guys realize that, the better off you'll be, honestly. I mean, that's how I always lived my life, and look at me now. That's the beginning, so we don't want to be that way.
You know what? I don't think I got this one. No, no, I got that one. Maybe I didn't get this one up here, if there is one. No, because that leads back to the center room. Actually, oh, you know what? It is in the center room. Because there's like a second path. I think that's the one I missed. That's definitely the one I missed. Yeah, this is the one I missed, definitely. Gooch goes the gooch. I don't know if I like that. Don't know if I like that at all. I guess for some reason I got under the impression that the only one in that middle section was the one on the floor. But then I was like, oh wait, there is a second path up there, so... Completely understandable with how I missed that. Yeah, 007 GoldenEye was made by Rare, same people who made this game. Which you can definitely see the influence in that game, for sure. Okay, can I... Do I need the, uh... Well, first of all... Make sure there was nothing in that water. Cause I think I need the detonator to do what I want to do in here. I think. Maybe I don't. Bleep. <laughs> Big bleep. Oh, I have to... Okay, I do need to use the detonator for this. Yeah, t grenade eggs are not that effective, unfortunately. You think it would work, though? I mean, they're both explosives. <laughs> Okay, what should I do next? Should I do the water cavern? Yeah, let's do the water cavern really quick. I personally didn't mind the uh, Smash reveal. 
I know it wasn't exactly anything like new because it's re it was really just the K Rule trailer with you know different characters, but I didn't mind it. Honestly, I was just more excited with the fact that some awesome characters made it into the game. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah! I still remember it. <laughs> I don't remember if there's anything else in here though. I don't think there is. Jolly Roger Lagoon. It's almost like every world in the game is connected in some way. Okay, can I see what's going on so I make sure I don't, like, go the wrong way? <laughs> Dude, good aim, but don't do that. So let's see, five pages, there's one more. I think the last page is from uh, Burgerella, or whatever her name is. <laughs> I know who it is. I do now? Wait, did I just come from here? Where did I come from there? I came from there. I think this is... Okay, I will need to open this later. That's like the power hut, I think. Can't do anything in the crushing shed yet, because I need to activate it. Here, notes. I want to say these are all the notes. Yeah, I have all the notes now. Okay. Still have a lot of jiggies left. And I know there's two that I can't get until later. At least two, anyway. Another green boy.
Okay, I know I have to do, like, a lot of stuff with the detonator still, but, like, I, I think it's probably better to go do the mumbo stuff first. I think all you have to do is just, like, activate the crushing shed and then also the... Oh, there's also this. Maybe I can do something with this first. Plus, I have to get the glow bow anyway. So yeah, I need to do that. Got a red Jinjo in the mines. Um, do I have to go through here? Nope, still need build draw. Now I know that is the split up stuff you have to do. Yeah. So I can't do this yet. I think I can do the red. I think I can do this. If I'm not mistaken. Ha! I can. I literally hate every speedrunner that can do this without actually needing, like, the light. <laughs> That's right, Mario does cough whenever he's, like ingesting a lot of toxic gas. It's almost like the N64 era wanted to warn people of the dangers of toxic gas. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love the way I said that. Like, I just said that with, like, no emotion in my voice. Isn't there like a Jinjo in like one of these tunnels? Yellow. Oh, that's our first yellow one. The N64 era wanted to poison their mascots. <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> Big sad. Do you mean with just, like, getting the DLC? Like... Because, I mean, if, if you're gonna try to get the... If you're trying to get the download on the day it releases, you're gonna have issues. Think about how big of a game Smash is, and then just add everyone who loves Smash into the equation of downloading at the same exact time. 
that's gonna be an issue. Like, Nintendo could have the strongest servers in the history of the world, and they would still have problems with not everyone getting it because the Smash fan base is just so huge. It wasn't an issue, it was normal. <laughs> Mumbo hopes this works. Also, Jiggy Boulder. <laughs> that sounds like another character. Yo, my name is Jiggy Boulder. My friends call me Jiggy Boulder. Our Jiggy is mine from the earth. train station. More like near the lame station. Uh. <laughs> Snack? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> it, it's been a long week. I don't know if I feel like going over the ethics of jiggy mining. Where are the other honeycomb pieces in this level? Oh no, someone's taking a shower in my bathroom right now. Oh, wait, it's right here. You're right, it's right there. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. <laughs> here I thought the game was trying to be clever. <laughs> uh... Is your roommate Jonathan Pieces? I wish. For one, he's a puzzle piece. So he wouldn't have to use my shower. Now, I actually have some relatives visiting from Pennsylvania, so... When they come, I usually have to share my bathroom with them. Yeah, Jonathan Pieces would, like, get really soggy, and he'd bend easily. I guess you could say he wouldn't be a perfect fit for a roommate. Oh my god, did Flynn Kirby really just say that? Whoa, does Wonder Wing not work on the Crushers? That's weird. I mean, you definitely just misconstrued my word, Snack. John Pieces is my homie, y'all. I do like this little effect. I kind of wish, like, the game would have done more little things like this. Where you get, like, part of the Jiggy fanfare whenever you pick up the small chunks of Jiggy. 
And then he plays the whole thing once you get all of them. I always thought this was a cute little thing that it did that. They're the, they're jiggy silver stars. <laughs> I guess I guess that's a good way to look at it. You know, I'm not judging, but that was a really short shower. <laughs> You'll soon be feeling my merry old ass on the top of your puny. <laughs> he just said ass. I've still got the other arm! <laughs> It's almost like he's the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> it's like, here, just hit this giant lump of coal that's walking around. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so now if I'm not mistaken, let me look at the totals again. So there's the Dilberta jigsaw piece, there's Canary Mary, and then it'll also be the last Cheeto page. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, and I have to free the, um, the UFO thing. So yeah, we're about done. I feel like these have been going, like, pretty fast so far. Like, I think I'll I think I'll definitely be able to get done with at least Witchy World tonight. Maybe even a little bit of Jolly Roger. We'll see though. I, I just know these games pretty well. Even if I have to like refamiliarize myself with the map, I can at least like kind of get a route together when it comes to these games. <laughs> I forget, did you miss that question, Snack? <laughs> you sure did. That was a pretty dumb spork quiz, though, honestly. <laughs> Had some cool trivia on it, I guess, but... I don't know if I'd take it again.
And see, like, I kind of knew the developer trivia, but, like, it took me a while to get, like, the exact names for some of the things that they were asking for. And yeah, it was, it was definitely, like, really random. Box. Woo. <laughs> Yo, what, can, what are we talking about, Snack? What about it? Like, I, I get what you mean, but, like, what specifically do you want to highlight about the unnecessary detail? Uh, favorite rare game is probably Banjo-Kazooie, honestly. Oh, uh, okay, that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Definitely a bit of unnecessariness, but... At the same time, I really like that about the game too, though. I also like the moments in the game, like in like little transition cutscenes sometimes, where you can hear like um, all the level like music tracks at the same time like they just like put them all together and they're all playing at the same exact time I don't know why I've always liked that aspect whenever they've done that um, shoot which which door do I enter Oh, I have to climb up, that's right. Oh yeah, I guess I guess I was thinking more of this era. Even that like it's hard between this game and DKC too, because I love both of those for different reasons. Or, or, or Banjo kazooie and DKC too. Die. Get in the damn door! <laughs> yes, I've played Banjo Pilot. In fact, I've actually done a live stream of Banjo Pilot a long time ago. <laughs> Of the entire game in one night. It was definitely a thing I did. Uh, I think I unlocked everything, if I'm not mistaken. I freed the UFO. I think I freed the Canary Cave. Yeah, I think that's it. I know there's another door, but I think that just is another entrance to the underwater cavern, so I don't need to do that. Let me, let me check again. Okay, so the four Jiggies we have left, we have Dilberto, which I can do now because I have Bill Drill. There's Canary Mary, which I can do now, I freed her. I can do, um, uh, I can't do the springy step shoes, and I can't do the, uh, split up thing, so yeah, I think we're good. And that last Jinjo we'll get later, so I think we're good to go. Um, what's next? 
I guess canary. <laughs> I freed her before I even talked to her. <laughs> oh no, she has a jiggy. She definitely has a jiggy. Let's not uh let's not dismiss that. Everyone's favorite, favorite person in this game, Canary Mary. <laughs> Big Bird. <laughs> What if Canary Mary was just Big Bird from Sesame Street? <laughs> You know, now that you mention the Statue of Liberty Bird, I actually was thinking when she was flying around in that cutscene, that did she have like the Statue of Liberty on her head? <laughs> Yay, button mashing, my favorite. Thankfully, you don't have to button match very hard. Oh my god, you have a big birdie mode. <laughs> it's because she symbolizes freedom. <laughs> she symbolizes freedom, and she was a gift the French gave to Rareware. I know you're quoting Kingo. <laughs> I don't think it's really common knowledge. get them, and then vice versa. If it's ever Seinfeld, it's that with me, Snack, and Sizz. With friends, I guess that's with me and Alan. <laughs> the Simpsons, it's me, Pixel, Beck, sometimes Sizz. I'd say Sizz most of the time, too. Happy Gilmore is involved, it's usually Odin. <laughs> Which, Happy Gilmore is not even a TV show. But...
Oh boy, she's gonna go fly around for the Clyde's for a while. Trying to be Canary Mary? I kicked Canary Mary's ass. And I almost just didn't pick up the Cheeto page. <laughs> Happy Gilmore accomplished that feat no more than an hour ago. Look <laughs> good for Happy Gilmore, my god! <laughs> Oh, well, you're right, Snack. Nobody else would say that. You're not wrong. You should probably think about why you're wrong, though. <laughs> you're not. Why you're not wrong. <laughs> blue Jinjo under the rocks. That's the first Blue Jinjo we found, actually. Also, let's get some health. Oh boy. Have you played my new course yet, Odin? Like, not, not the coin one. <laughs> The one I made late last night, because I was in a bad mood and didn't want to go to bed yet, so... I took my aggression out on Mario Maker 2 and made a course. Did I just get three new honeycomb pieces? No, it's only two. Never mind. Well, you see, Kingo, all you gotta do is just get frustrated and then make a level. That's all you have to do. <laughs> all, all that creativity comes out when you're frustrated. <laughs> Man, I, I tested Pool of Rain, like, 500 times. And even after uploading it, I'm still not happy with it. Like, I feel like... Now, after what I've done, I feel like I can make it so much better, but there were just things I wasn't aware of yet. <laughs> Hello, my little rabid friend! <laughs> Hello, my little plague-infested beast. <laughs> oh, he said, he said, he said, plague-ridden infest. <laughs> Kazooie said that. <laughs> I actually did not remember if that was actually a thing said in here. <laughs> <laughs> A quick call to exterminators are us. <laughs> Took care of that problem. <laughs> Oh, they so happy. They so happy. And see, I feel like, and again, this is coming from me, someone who literally has no idea about the speedrun for this game. But, um... Oh. 
I feel like you'd want to do all the prison compound stuff all at once. So when I stopped in here earlier to get the jiggy and the the page, that was probably a bit of a time sink. I forget, is it this one or the other one? Honestly, that's a good idea, Ringra. You better get to it before Aaron does anything with that. Oh, I'm supposed to go upstairs and grab it. Oh, that's right. I guess there would be no point in knocking it down further when it's on the lowest platform. <laughs> 20 jiggies out of 90. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're not wrong, Kingo. So I'm not gonna look at my um, I'm not gonna look at my um, time for Mayhem Temple yet because I need to come back here later to activate the Stony and stuff. So I'm not gonna count look at my time for that yet. But that is pretty much a full clear of, like, all the actual items and stuff. Um, anything around here before I... Nope. 